Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about adjusting the strategy so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. I have introduced this idea of expanding our trades from zero DTE to one, two, or even three DTE. Now I've done like what you could consider one or partial one DTE. And that always seemed to be enough, but in this market, it's not enough. What I don't know is two DTE enough, right? Is one DTE, a full one DTE enough? Is two DTE enough? Is three too much? I really don't know. But the other part of our edge that we have is the process that we go through in determining where our sweet spot is or what's working and what's not working. And uh, that is nothing, it's nothing more difficult than the scientific process. That is, in fact, what we are actually employing every day. Uh, scientific process. We recognize that the parameters have changed, the environment has changed, and so we're adapting to that by making experiments, try something a little different, at least based on our hypothesis that, that premium has accelerated, premium decay has accelerated, and directionality has been put outside of the realm of the time frame that we were in, so we expand our time frame to try to capture both that directionality and that premium. Now, that's just one part of the equation. When you expand it, to go to one or two or three DTE, there are a lot of other things that change because strategy before was looking at the nature of a single individual day and how things behave in that day, right? And that's why I, I came up with that uh, profit management framework that was an overlay on what the realities of that day are. But that's now been expanded to one or two or three days. So how do we change that? Is it still the same three segments? Do we just expand it? out further like that? Is it a more continuous type of thing that you look at? Do you break it down into segments or do we have a different methodology of how we adjust our tolerance level from the beginning of the trade all the way through to the end of the trade? Because ultimately that's what we were trying to do in this where and when type of thing and breaking it down into three periods in the day. But that was under the recognition that certain things are happening at the end of that last day, the zero DTE day that don't really happen in any other day. So for instance, after you get beyond two o'clock or so in the afternoon, volatility no longer has any kind of effect on your decision-making or your trade. Those are the inputs that I have now to the changing landscape. How do we change our attitude to to encompass these things and recapture the edge that we had in a single day just based on this lowering of volatility thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below if there's any questions that you might have for coach ernie make sure you leave them in the comment section thanks guys